Hello, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd show you guys all of the things I've crocheted. Just a little, a little tour of what I've got going on so far. Still not very much, but I'm also gonna show you how I style it because I want to. <laughs> Let's get into it. Yeah. Here's the first one. I've paired it with, oh, actually I can get on my bed. Um, I've just, I've just paired it with some white shorts. Now I'm coming closer since the shorts aren't the big deal. This was the first ever clothing item that I crocheted for myself. The first ever, ever crocheted item that I, or clothing item that I did was a sweatshirt for my boyfriend that I did with a uh, really bulky yarn. And I started to make myself one, so I'll show you that later. Uh, but I wanna get through all the stuff that I've like actually finished first and then I'll get into the projects. I only have two, so it's, Whatever. I used the same pattern kind of thing. I've never actually read a pattern, only like tutorials from YouTube. But I followed a uh, how to make an oversized sweatshirt kind of pattern thing um, for the sweatshirt that I made. And I also, I just kind of copied it a little bit, but like obviously I didn't do a bunch of extra steps, like adding sleeves or a hood or a pocket or even having it go down all the way. Just wanted to see if I could make a sweater vest and looks like I can. So here's her. I also tried to embroider like flowers onto it, but I'm really bad at embroidery. So it didn't work out great. Um, might try to do this again someday. No, I don't know. This was the first ever hat that I made. This is also a tutorial. I'll try and link all the tutorials that I followed down below because giving credit is good. <laughs> so a little strawberry hat. I'm also, I've also paired it with a necklace that I recently made. It's supposed to be the sun, but this is a crochet video. So I'm, I'm not gonna talk about the necklaces. I'll, I'll try not to because I can't myself, but yeah. <laughs> Here's the second thing. I'm still wearing the same white shorts. Also this bandana head scarf thing. It's pretty cute. This top was the first ever like bralette kind of thing that I made. I was actually part of a different project of, uh, I wanted to make a whole outfit including shorts, which I'll show you later because I did finish those, but I kind of hate them so I might remake them. Uh, shorts, bralette, uh, a top to go on top of the bralette, um, a cardigan, I think a bag, and a hat. I think a pair of earrings as well. Because I don't really like the shorts and because I also kind of don't really like the top, I decided I would scrap that project. I'm still working on the cardigan though because I think it's a cool idea. Um, I'll show that to you also later. Turns out I have three projects that are unfinished, not two. I don't like it because I made the band too big so it kind of like droops in the back. I'm also selling this top. So if you want to buy it, it's on my Depop. <laughs> I've had to angle the camera down a little bit for this one. But yeah, here are the shorts. Yeah, this part got a little fucked up because I started going the opposite direction and I don't really know how to fix that. So they're supposed to like have this little ruffle at the bottom. It doesn't really work that well. I'll figure out how to do it eventually, but yeah. These are also for sale on my Depop. They're very comfy. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get into the good stuff real soon. There's this top. This one I've paired with a little skirt and a thing I made. Isn't that cute? This was the first hair bandana thing that I made. I didn't know how to make, I was just learning how to make granny squares. This top is like a second version to a different top that I made, which I'll show you next. It was actually the first one that I made and then I realized that something about it that I did just made it a little bit too loose because they kind of stretch out the more you like put them on and the more you take them off. I think this one is stretched out to its full potential. But yeah, so I, on this one, I decided to not do the thing. I, I had like a lace kind of thing in the back, but it's kind of useless. So I just took that off for this one and it's kind of like stretched out a lot because I have to like, ah, like take it off. <laughs> the other one also has like granny squares like this right there. But I was just learning how to make granny squares and I knew that people would make like bananas like this with granny squares. So I wanted to do little stars in the middle of them and they were very difficult but I love this bandana. The only thing is that I'm kind of embarrassed that I didn't really know how to make a triangle granny 
triangle. I ended up having to just make squares and then fold them over themselves, which is why I don't really wear this out in public because I'm afraid that somebody who crochets is gonna see it and they're gonna be like, mm, what the fuck? Moving on. I've paired this one with a pair of jeans from Target. This is the top I was talking about. I didn't actually tighten it all the way in the back because I'm lazy, but this is what the lace looks like. It's basically useless, <laughs> at least for me, for the size that I am, because these granny squares, basically like, there doesn't need to be that extra inch of lacing right there. Like I can just put it on like that and then stretch it over my head, but or whatever, I guess. This is the first bralette that I made with granny squares. I really like it, I think it's adorable. Also this hat, this is the fav like my favorite hat I've ever made. Look at how, like, it looks so good. It's just, it looks like a clamshell. I love it. <laughs> I think the yarn is Bernat. I don't remember what it was called. I'll show it to you. If I can find it. Yeah, there's too many things on my bag of yarn, so I don't want to pick it all up and show you. Just know, this yarn is good. I'll like, here, that's what it looks like. Um, but yeah, I love this hat so much. It's amazing. It's just, it's so comfy and so cute and I love it. <laughs> I'm still wearing the same jeans as before. This is my absolute favorite top that I have made. This is my version of it. There's a second version that I made that I am gonna list soon on Depop. I'll show you that in a second. This was all done with one yarn. It was one of the ones that were for uh, like big stripes. Changed color up on me a little bit. I, I had to remake this top so many times. I had to do it so that the color for the cup would uh, change at the, like a certain part. It was like I had to do one cup and then I had to do a granny square so that the granny square would all be one color because like this color is the rest of this one, I believe. So I had to do a cup and then a granny square and then a cup again and then another granny square. Yeah, and then I could make the other two just like however I wanted. And instead of doing the lace detailing in the back, I did it in the front, which was my boyfriend's idea. I also wanted to add these like, I haven't tucked a lot of these ends in, I'm sorry. Um, I wanted to do little loops right here and my boyfriend suggested that I have the lace go up the, the, the loops a little bit, which I did and I think it's really cute. And then I, switched from like the tying in the back to uh, like a cross thing just cause I think it's more comfortable and it doesn't like slip as much I guess. And also this was made with the same yarn and the other, the other top that I'm gonna show you in a second is also the same yarn. Uh, it just looks slightly different because I think I made the cups a little bit bigger and I switched from doing single crochets all the way through to I did like 10 single crochets and then the rest I did uh, double crochets because I just thought it would add a little bit of texture and I thought I think it looks really cute and then I, I also used little uh, pony beads for the ends of the eh, for the ends of this like string because I think it's adorable did I do it on this one I don't think I did I not yet I will eventually. And here's that other top. It's generally the same. I think it's a little bit longer. The lace goes farther up the cup. There are adjustable straps with these little beads. So basically 10, I think, single crochets. And then I think three rows of double crochets. And then these little like loop bits. And then the lace goes up that loop. And yeah, my boobs don't really fill it out because I'm flat chested, but it's kind of loose right here. I really like this one too. Um, this I'll be listing on my Depop eventually, sometime soon probably. Uh, but yeah, this one is another one of my favorite tops that I've made. I love the back of it. The straps go over the back and through the sides of the granny squares and then it ties at the bottom. So it's a really, really long string basically. Very adjustable. I've paired it with a little skirt and some little chain thingies. I am selling this one also on my Depop. Uh, the only thing about it that is frustrating is that, let me angle this down a little bit. As I was tying all, oh, you can see the mess on my bed. Um, <laughs> as I was tying all of the uh, granny squares together, I actually did this one backwards. So there's a seam right here that you can't see, but I know it's there and it bothers me. So I am selling it <laughs> and it is slightly discounted because of that. But yeah, I think she's great. I, I actually made this with yarn that I got from the Dollar Tree. 
and it's actually really comfortable <laughs> despite it being like kind of sparkly so there's like little bits of tinsel in it um it's not like too itchy like i thought it was going to be but yeah i really like this one <laughs> for this one i've just paired it with a simple legging some cute comfy they're not that cute they're just comfy this one is also available on my depop it is just a simple granny squares no lace tie uh, tie neck thing you know and this is my wonderful green checkerboard bag that i made i will leave the tutorial for this down in the description i absolutely love this bag i have been using it every day since i made it it's got a little bit of a little bracelet for itself because I think that's cute. Not the first bag I made. I'll show you this first bag that I made next. Um, but yeah, I, I absolutely love her. This one's my favorite bag ever. I'm making a second one in a pink, in pink. I also made another bag like this for my friend Frances for her birthday. It was white and light blue and she loves it. It's very spacious and yeah. <laughs> I didn't change the color of the lights. Here's the bag that I made. It's cow print. <laughs> uh, I didn't follow a pattern. This was the first one that I made. I didn't follow a pattern or a tutorial or anything because I was really impatient. And I figured I knew how to make a hat and a hat was basically a small bag without a strap. So I kind of just winged it. And I think it turned out pretty cute. It's gigantic. There's so much room in here. I originally made it so that I could carry around my laptop and I don't even use it for that. So it took lots of time and it was very frustrating because at first I wanted to just cut off the yarn at, like, each time I changed color, but I ended up not doing that because it was getting like too messy and too frustrating. So I just restarted it and I kind of, I just weaved all the, weaved all the yarn in between each thing which is why you see all these little black things black lines um but yeah and then here's my top i've paired it with a cute pair of shorts it's it was very experimental uh i used a karen cake for it so it was a bunch of different colors like it was it's kind of like the green one where it was set up for like big stripes if you were to do like a blanket or anything so that's where these stripes came from the back is granny squares and then this, there's like this little colored part and then this part's bordered twice. And yeah, I kind of liked the randomness of it. So this one isn't being sold, but I really like it. I, I like the ruffles. I think it's fun. Uh, I made this with the same, the same yarn. I've just been making a bunch in the, like, this pattern because it's like really easy and really quick. And I'm kind of just practicing with it. So yeah this is the first time i've worn it with these shorts and now that i see like it's really cute so i might wear this more often <laughs> this is the last bralette that i have made paired with the same shorts and a little hat that i absolutely love uh i love the color of it i think it's so cute the top's pretty simple it's the same kind of layout of ties at the neck laces up the front yeah, this yarn I also got from the Dollar Tree. Uh, this blue one I didn't, but the, ow, this, <laughs> I stepped on something. This pink one I got from the Dollar Tree, uh, it's kind of the same as the, I forget what they're called, but they're, it's like sugar, sugar and cream or something like that. They're little cotton, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's like that, but it was a premier brand, so yeah. And this one is also for sale on my Depop. Go check it out. <laughs> Forgot to show off this little hat. I think it's kind of weird, but I kind of love it. At first, when I first made this, or when I first started making this, the yarn only showed this part on top. So the more I unraveled it, the more I saw that there were other layers to it. And it was all just a very, it was, it was quite surprising to see it all. But I think it turned out really cute. And then I bordered it with black. I think it's adorable. Here are the last two things, last two finished pieces that I'm gonna show you is this sweater vest. That is the most recent thing that I finished. And this little headband, headband? Uh, you know, headscarf thing. It's got the shell stitch and it's really cute. Uh, this is paired with 
my little skirt and a little like thing. <laughs> a little off the shoulder green tube top kind of thing. I guess it's not a tube top if it has sleeves. It is also done with the shell stitch. I don't know if this is called something different because it's a little bit bubblier, but um, yeah. I was doing, I actually was um, working on this and the green bag in a different video. So now you've seen the finished versions of them. So now I'll get into showing you some of the unfinished projects that I've done. So first off, we got, ah! we got the sweatshirt I was talking about. I only have one sleeve done. It's huge, um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. It's soft and it's comfortable and it's gigantic. So this is gonna be great when winter starts. This little cutie, I've been using the Bernat Baby Blanket Yarn. I used the same one for the uh, for the uh, sweatshirt that I finished for my boyfriend, but it was a different color. We were out of this color of yarn for the longest time, and I only needed two more skeins. But then we finally got them, and we only had two left, so I copped those real quick. <laughs> this one is just a little hat. It's purple. Don't know if you can tell in this lighting. It's actually kind of huge. <laughs> so like, it... Actually, no, it's kind of cute. I think it fits perfectly. Um, it was gonna be a grape. Uh, I just have not put the little stem on it yet. So the cardigan I was talking about earlier for the, the project that I was gonna do where I crocheted the entire like outfit is this one. It does not look like a cardigan yet because I, I like to sew the panels on as I'm going instead of all at once when I finish. This looks like a mess basically, but if I put it on like this, and then here we go. So then these are the two front panels and then I have yet to do a back panel and the sleeves, but the back is supposed to be basically a pixelated version of a sunset. And I say pixelated just cause I'm crocheting and not drawing. And I just don't know how I'm gonna do that yet because I've never tried to do like a picture with crocheting. Uh, I know you have to like draw a grid and then color in which things are gonna be which. So basically just pixel art. Um, but yeah, I just, I haven't gotten around to doing that yet, so I'm kind of afraid to, to try it. The only project that I have that is currently attached to some yarn is this one. It's gonna be a pink version of the checkered bag. I've actually kind of messed up a little bit and I missed a square, so there's 13 squares on the front instead of 14, but I think it's fine. Like the, the green bag is big enough anyway. It'll be okay to have a, like a slightly smaller one. I think it's adorable so far and I'm really excited for it to be done. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've been kind of wanting to do it for a while, but I haven't really been up to it because I feel like I don't have enough like stuff yet, but I don't, I can always do like an updated version in the future. This is just, this is all the stuff I've done as I've started learning how to crochet because I feel like it's important to document the beginning and like the middle and like not really the end because hopefully I'm never gonna stop crocheting. I think it's really important to be able to make your own clothing because you're not gonna be confined by anything like what's put on shelves. Like you'll never have to say, I like this top, but I wish it was green. Like just make the green one. <laughs> uh, and that goes for sewing too, which is why I really wanna learn how to do it. But for now, crocheting is where I'm at. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm learning how to make panels and then sew those panels together and eventually I'll upgrade to getting a sewing machine and cutting out panels and sewing them together. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're staying hydrated and creative and healthy and um, I don't know, is the air quality bad where you are? It is kind of bad here. Um, stay inside. <laughs> it's too hot to be outside anyway. Uh, I love you all and I hope you're having a wonderful day. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video.